Okay guys, it's finally finished. Now I'm debating if I want to keep it like this on this side or keep it um, done the other way. You see, you can't really tell. Did you see? I just splashed some doggone paint. And I don't know how I was able to blend that, but I just legit painted the bottom portion. Well, it was flipped upside down. So I just painted the top and made sure it was nice and solid and then just gradually came down a little bit misting it and it created its own little ombre and then I just um, I have like a silver paint that I just went over and the rose gold paint and just have fun with it so just have fun with it you don't have to get my complete design but this is just an ideal of what you can do on a budget. Yeah, but I absolutely love it. I cannot wait to put it up. Continue to watch the video to see the finished results. This is the back. Some of you may be wondering. Now, here, because of the tips, they kind of... Um, you kind of can see the line, which is, I'm, I'm okay with the line, but I just wanted it to be more flush. So it won't be a piece going this way and another one actually connects to the board because I didn't get full contact. So I just put some tape that I had nearby. Nothing special. So blue. And then that's the board. That the whole thing. See now I just added this piece to make it a little bit more secure which I showed I think in the video it goes all the way down the same way yeah it's a it's a wonderful DIY on the budget I'm gonna add the command strips I'm gonna add actually a lot of command strips it's really not needed because it's not heavy but I'm just gonna add enough to be sure that my stuff ain't gonna fall down and I'll be hurt you know, or hurt somebody. All right, keep trying. <laughs>